hello everyone welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again for your continuous massive and huge support to this channel god bless you my people we really love and appreciate you and we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys yes and we're back again with latest and most authentic happenings in the country the one we've got guys right now is quite uh um shocking it's regarding the ondo state governorship election we know um just um recently last weekend saw a do state governorship election won to the people's democratic party pdp and um, as a result of that INEC has been commended for once uh, conducting a free, fair, and credible election. Right now, guys, the news we've got is that um, the governor of River State, Neisom Wiki, who was also the um, chairman of the campaign committee of the People's Democratic Party, has stated that um, APC is putting pressure on INEC after Obaseki's victory. Wow. We know um, the allegations that came ahead of um, the Edo State governorship election was that the APC was going to work hand in hand with um, INEC to actually manipulate and um, rig the election. But what we saw was quite surprising and it was commendable for INEC because um, it did not go that way. INEC stood neutral and um, allowed the vote of the people to count. But you know, earlier on today, Nason Wiki um, stated before now, he stated that the reason why INEC became um, conducted a free and fair election was because of the fact that the international communities that had eyes on the governorship election in the state, that's Edo State and Ondo State that is yet to come, that um, he stated that that is the reason they put themselves under check. They did the right thing because they don't want to be caught in the bad books of the United States as well as the United Kingdom. You know, when the visa ban list even came, some top um, politicians and even governors, their name landed on their, that list. INEC and Buhari as well. All of them, they don't want their names on that list. So I, uh, Nason Wiki uh, uh, actually did speak regarding that. That was one of the reasons uh, those states came out uh, uh, victorious, that their votes counted this time. But right now, ahead of the Ondo state governorship election, Nason is raising fresh concerns that um, he doesn't think that uh, Ondo... Um, INEC um, will conduct um, a free and fair election that um, APC is actually putting them under pressure. And he doesn't think that uh, um, INEC will, uh, be able, uh, will escape the pressure that they might give in into all of this. But if we look at it from the way a do state governorship election went and uh, with the press statement from the United States, I believe INEC, they still know very well that the international community have not taken their eyes off Nigeria. They are still watching everything. On those state election is not done yet. It's still for 10th of October. So I believe that INEC, the same thing they did for Edo State, they might probably do. But uh, Nason Wiki, I don't know why he's raising this concern at this point in time, stating, and also right now, this is an allegation, guys, because he's alleging right now that um, APC is putting pressure on INEC after Obaseki's victory. They don't want to see that um, they lose yet another state. Anyway, guys, um, we'll bring you more details shortly as to why Nason Wiki is um, raising all of these concerns just uh, a couple of weeks before the Ondo State governorship election. We'll bring that to you shortly. But before we do, guys, please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button and don't forget to subscribe as well. Thank you once again and God bless you. Yes, and um, we'll get into the news now and grab all of the details. Ondo 2020. APC putting pressure on INEC after Obaseki's victory. Neisom Wiki. River State Governor Neisom Wiki on Friday alleged that the All Progressive Congress are planning to compromise the Ondo State governorship election. Wiki stated this in a post on his official Twitter account on Friday. The PDP governor accused the APC of putting pressure on the Independent National Electoral Commission to rig the election following their defeat in Edo State last Saturday. Recall that the incumbent governor, Godwin Obaseki, defeated the candidate of the All Progressive Congress, Pastor Osaige Izeiyamo, in the election. His tweet read, After the defeat of at official APC Nigeria in Edo State, there is enormous pressure on at INEC Nigeria to compromise the Ondo election for at official APC Nigeria. I'm concerned INEC 
would cave in to the pressure. So Nathan Wiki is raising these concerns. But like I said, the, uh, the, the same thing that made the vote of the people to count in a dose state. Let's believe that that same thing um, will, uh, will make the vote of uh, the people to count in all those states as well. But we know before the election, uh, um, and the People's Democratic Party, they were very, very active. They were very, very conscious of the fact that um, rigging might go on. And also, um, some predictions have come ahead of the Ondo State Governorship election from the person of Primate Ayodele. Let's recall that he made a prophecy that APC was going to lose out this election to the People's Democratic Party unless they manipulate, unless they rig. And that was the same um, prediction and prophecy he gave regarding the Edo State Governorship election. That Governor Gordon Obaseki was going to emerge winner. The only reason he was not going to win was that if um, there was manipulation, federal might and all of that. But we, we saw that um, uh, um, the people um, were given the opportunity to choose their leader. INEC, uh, it's been stated here that INEC might cave in. We don't know what sort of pressure um, APC is mounting on INEC. That is all Nason Wiki have stated. So we don't know what this pressure is, if it could be promises or if it could be, uh, uh, we don't know what they are dangling before their faces. You know, it was speculations came that um, even Mahmoud Yakub, that's the INEC chairman, he was promised that if he may uh, ensure that um, the elections are won in favor of the All Progressive Congress, I was going to retain his uh, his second tenor. But um, he debunked all of those claims. And uh, we saw that um, they did the right thing. Nason Wiki is not, you know, normally they stated that there's no smoke without a fire. Nason Wiki might not just be raising this, this concern for nothing. Most probably he has seen some things or he has heard some things. So this is all he's stating. Now, after the defeat, uh, um, of the um, All Progressive Congress after the APCs uh, uh, lost out to Governor Gordon Obaseki. They are actually putting pressure on INEC now. They don't have to put pressure on INEC. If the people are happy with incumbent Governor Akere Dolo, Rotimi Akere Dolo, they will definitely um, vote him back. But anyway, guys, that's the news we are bringing. It's been stated here that INEC um, is being put under pressure by the All Progressive Congress. We know uh, the APC will react to this um, sooner or later. Guys, let us know what you think down below in the comment section. Thank you once again. Please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up, give us a thumbs up and click on the like button. Till I come your way again, bye for now and God bless.